I just ordered myself a McDonald's, which will be here right after filming, and I feel like the meme that's like, white girls when they get their food, and it's like... I feel like that right now, because I'm so excited. I ordered a Big Mac meal, sorry, I know you really don't give a shit. A Big Mac meal, and I'm just imagining like... Oh! Oh! <laughs> So good! We're almost going into another lockdown here in Derry and I need to tell you that I've been preparing for it for the longest time because every single meal and every single snack I basically post made it. You know what I mean? We don't have Postmates over here. We have Uber Eats. We have different delivery services and that's been me every single meal. Is it healthy for me? No. Am I surviving still? Yes. So I see no problem. When a problem arises then we'll deal with it head on but until then no problem! So hi everyone, I'm gonna call this video the part 2 to my last video which I will link below, very important to watch, but basically Nikita Dragon is getting called out again for almost appropriating, appropriating culture. You know what I mean? Appropriation culture, or cultural appropriation, and blackfishing is something that Nikita Dragon gets called out for a lot. A lot! Sorry, I could get angry again, I was very angry in my last video. And a lot of people are calling her out, her audience, and her peers. And we're gonna get into that, because James Charles has done something that honestly surprises me. But for a little recap, and I'm gonna make this very brief, Nikita Dragon tweeted something that basically said, What race is Nikita gonna be today? Very funny tweet. Ha 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 ha. What race is she gonna be? Ah ha 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 ha. Marvelous tweet. Again, in my last video I said, how are we supposed to react to this? I don't know. I don't find it funny. My response was literally, this isn't even funny. And I've told you this tweet, her tweet, has over 30,000 likes. People liked this tweet. So on top of her getting called out for it, she was also getting a lot of positive feedback. And so, along with the general public and Stan Twitter being really pissed off with her, James Charles did something that suck. Oh, and by the way, this is, you know, this is... Nikita, you can't deny this, okay? So now that we're aware of this, let's actually just keep this up behind us for, you know, a little bit of reference. Whenever this was happening and Nikita tweeted that, James Charles liked a tweet from Nyama Tang, I think is how you pronounce that. If not, I fully apologize. It is this queen right here. She had tweeted and said, this shit is not funny in relation to Nikita's tweet. Now, James Charles liked this. Now, here's my thing, and I want to get into a little bit of a rant, right? James Charles liked this, and it's all well and good. But James Charles unliked this. And I have an issue with multiple reasons. First of all, because it's nice that our peers are speaking out, because at this stage, it just seems like it's us constantly talking, right? It seems like we're almost making an issue every single time. And I'm like, are we the issue? Because there's no response from Nikita, none from her team. Her PR team are loving this because she loves being talked about by drama channels. So I'm almost like, is it as bad as I'm making it out to be? Yes, it's even worse. So it's nice that Piers interacting with how bad this is and Nikita actually being called out. Now Nikita Dragon and James Charles were seemingly really good friends at one stage, but I just want to get to James Charles unliking this tweet. He made enough of a stance that people noticed. Why unlike it? You can say all you did was like a tweet. He literally didn't even tweet. He liked the tweet that unliked. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Does he like retract it? He says he doesn't want to get involved in drama, but all he had done is like to tweet. People noticed, and then he unliked. So does he want to like tweets just so we don't notice, and then like we don't talk about it, you know? And then he can keep them liked? And it's like, this protecting each other mentality, right? Because I personally believe that influencers don't speak out about other influencers because of possible brand deals and possible collaborations. Nikita Dragon's gonna get away with this, like she does every single fucking month she gets called out for it. And I'm sure in a couple of months, James Charles and Nikita Dragon are gonna be best friends again, and they're gonna be working together. So if he, you know, acts out too much now, that'll affect it, and people will be calling him out for that. But I really just don't like how he likes it and then unlikes it. This is an issue that people need to be speaking out about. And I'm aware I'm probably nitpicking here, but it's just because I'm frustrated. Nikita Dragon would act more if her peers were calling her out, rather than just us. Nikita Dragon doesn't give a shit if we're calling her out because again, drama channel talking about her, more CEO for her name, which we talked about in my first video. But whenever her peers start acting like, then their audience are aware of what she's doing. But until that, you know, switch happens, nothing's gonna change! And it's like, 
why, 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 why? And it's like, he went to the extreme of, like, liking this tweet. And he doesn't like that many tweets, so people see it, right? Why unlike it? Why take back your stance on it? Because this tweet was quite a very telling one on where you lie. This shit is not funny. It's not. So you like that, and then... And James, this tweet has 64.1 thousand likes. I don't understand why you... So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. The reason these influencers never speak up when another one's being called out is for this reason right here. Hi, sister. Just doing James videos together. Welcome back. And they're I'm best friends here. Guys, the first Sorry, time he's in Very, very yeah. special guest. Hi. So they're never gonna speak out again against each other. They're, this is our second day we've done together. Oh my god. We you know what I mean? Makeup trivia. We do. Messiness. Uh, we're still not cancelled. And so Again, this is what they prey on. They prey on being cancelled. People talking about them, views go up, they love it. At what stage, though, does some human decency have to come in? Again, redirecting it to Nikita and your tweet. And just exploiting it. And when people are showing you how much it hurt them, you're like, fuck that, peace I'm out. Which is what you actually tweeted, peace out, after the backlash. And then James, being so wishy-washy with your opinion. Well, so today's video, guys, we have a very iconic challenge plan. Let me tell you, you know what I mean? It's like, the these are business people who don't care about what the other one's doing. James is problematic too. Do you think Nikita gives a shit? No, because they can make their video together. And it's like, the people in the beauty influencer culture just are fake friends. And I think we're seeing that so much. So that was James' video, right? You have the exact same thing with Nikita. What's up? It's Nikita and welcome back you know what I mean? to my channel. So These people are all friends. Video, I have a very special guest. Hi, I sisters. brought on a fan. <laughs> right. um, so yeah, yeah, they're all friends. So I think it's very clear that they will never speak out against each other. But I'm really disappointed in James, actually, because I thought when he liked this tweet, we were going somewhere good. I thought maybe he would reply to something. He wouldn't do a tweet flat out. But it's like making yourself known that you're not just being a sheep. Nikita has upset so many people, and even if she doesn't intend for it, like, that tweet. There's no way to even say she didn't intend for it, because her tweet was, What race shall I be- will Nikita be today? Ha 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 ha. And it's like, James, you're obviously, you know, thinking about it enough to agree with someone's tweet on it, so why do you take that back? No one will change if they're not being called out by the proper people. Do you think we matter to Nikita? No. Do you think James matters? Yes. James talks to the TikTok boys. Nikita loves the TikTok boys. They're the reason both of them are really popular right now. Are we going to have that conversation? The TikTokers are what are keeping these YouTubers afloat. And they're making their numbers brilliant. You know why? Because the TikTokers' numbers are brilliant. Is there any notion why these two, like, aren't really public friends anymore? Aren't personal friends? I don't fucking know. But they're, you know, friends with all the same TikTokers and stuff because they need that built-in audience now from the TikTokers. TikTok is where it's at. So I think it's very clear. Hold on, my McDonald's is here. Sorry. You know what? I'm really gonna hold back being shady against James here. But it's just like, James, he knew what he was doing was right, liking that tweet, right? But was it almost public pressure? He didn't want to be involved in drama again? And it's this, like... James, realistically, if you built your career off of drama, let's have that conversation. And that's not a negative thing, because it's a smart thing. We said it in my last video about how James literally was smart enough to build his career off of drama, because people love drama. Remember the Photoshop picture that started everything? And from then, he was involved in drama with literally everyone. He's smart like that. He knows what he's doing. But it's like, at what stage are you going to realize that, realistically, not involving yourself in drama will probably hurt yourself, in terms of your brand, more than succeeded? That's why I don't believe any of these influencers, whenever they say, Oh my god, I'm not going to be involved in drama. I'm above that. No, you're not. You need it. You need drama. I'm going to go eat my McDonald's, calm down, then come back and read out some opinions for you. Bye. Okay, I'm back, and for some reason my voice is going. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Probably because I shouted in all three of my videos today. Anyway, I asked my subscribers for their opinion on this, and y'all had something to say. Cap W said, piss per attempt at a joke. She's really grasping at straws here. Just secondhand embarrassment for what I'm feeling right now. Soccer said, instead of talking about James, let's talk about Naima. Naima is such a queen, period. I hope I'm saying that right. I really need to look into who she is. Zion said, the fact that James already unliked it. Chal, anyways, stand Naima for clear 
your skin. Arya said I was gonna give him props for somewhat holding his friend Nikita accountable, but then I find out he already unliked it. But I didn't expect much from James Charles, especially since he's still friends with people like Tony Lopez. Anyways, Stan Naima for calling out Nikita for her shit directly. And that's the thing, these influencers can't do anything directly, right? They're so scared of that. Why? They have no problem calling out any smaller creator, but whenever it's people they might have met or might work with in the future, shit scared. Y'all are weird. Midnight Snack said James and Nikita do this all the time. She's just sparking controversy to sell a new product. She's using the Jafar star business model. Do y'all stand these people? Let me ask the audience. Hmm. Mega said, if Naima called me out, I would be ashamed. And it's the fact that her tweet, out like Nikita Dragons, call it what it is, iconic. Yamar said, one thing that I'm wondering is even though he has nothing to do with this, how does someone like Larray feel about his friends saying stuff like this? And how is he so comfortable being their friend while they're appropriating black culture constantly? And all the replies to that are people like Max White saying, that's what I'm wondering. Josh said, he already unliked it. And it's like, why are you gonna go out of your way to do that if you're just gonna unlike it? Congrats, James. Alex said James and other people with bigger platforms should speak out against crap like this. Everyone's like, figured he'd get involved, and it's like, he got involved, then like, jumped right back out again. I don't know. Guys, what's your opinion on this? And what's your opinion on the fact that these larger creators who may be in a circle, who might not even be friends with Nikita, but know people in her circle, are just scared to ever speak up about it? They just... They let them do it because they're like business partners and stuff. I don't know, it's always been really weird with me because you see them film these YouTube collabs together and then they're pally pally, they use each other for money, then whenever one of them does a controversial thing, they're just completely silent. But then if a smaller creator, they would all jump on it. It never sits well with me, but let me know what your opinion is. I will see you in my next video and this entire Nikita Dragon situation really pisses me off. Can we just keep in mind, please? Please? She tweeted, what race is Nikita going to be today? She started this. For no reason. What gain? Why? None. Anyways, see you in my next one. Bye.